The end is near for the harmonized sales tax. B.C. voters have rejected it. The referendum is over. The results today, 54.7% voted yes to extinguish the HST. 45% voted no, so the tax will be scrapped. It won't happen overnight, though, and the transition could be costly. We're covering all angles on this story tonight, what it means for consumers, reaction from the business community, and the political fallout. Let's begin in Victoria with Legislative Bureau Chief Stephen Smart. Stephen? Well, this is the day that many British Columbians have been waiting for for more than two years since the HST was first introduced. The culmination of a successful tax revolt that has and will likely continue to change the course of this government. After two years, it all came down to this. BC's acting chief electoral officer arrived at the legislature with the results of the HST referendum. The, the yes side, 54.73%, uh, and the no side, 45.27. The yes side winning by more than 152,000 votes. But in political terms, this was also a major win for the NDP. Today we have uh, the results of the people's referendum on the HST, and, uh, and there's good news, uh, the people won. The Liberals, not so much. Well, look, uh, you can't be evasive about this. The buck stops with us. While the finance minister put on a brave face, he made it clear they'd known for a while the writing was on the wall, admitting a transition team was already in place. Negotiations on withdrawing from the HST had already begun with Ottawa, and a date had already been set to go back. Uh, the PST will be restored uh, at the 7% rate. Uh, the target time in terms of restoring the PST so that we're back into a PST-GST system is about 18 months. So we're anticipating March 31st, 2013. Then it was the Premier's turn. Her mission? To move on from the defeat. The public has very clearly spoken, and now is the time to turn the page. But she was having a tough time doing that, facing question after question about what the result would mean for a possible election. Are you willing today to rule out an election? Will you rule out an election as well? And each time she failed to answer. We've all asked the same question and you've, you've not answered it each time. So I'm just curious why you won't rule that out, why you want that still on the table. Well, what I'm saying is I'm going to focus on jobs. I'm going to find the best way to make sure that we deliver on the jobs agenda. So the speculation will continue. A government wanting to move on from the biggest blunder in recent political history facing a major uphill battle to do it. Well, Stephen, it seems the Liberals' uphill battle is already underway. Yeah, it definitely is, Tony. I mean, you saw the Premier at the news conference there having to dodge questions, evade questions about a, a possible election. And then there's this email. CBC News obtained this email. It was sent this afternoon by Christy Clark to Liberal supporters. Sounds a lot like something you'd send out uh, before an election, saying they need to battle against the NDP, even asking for donations. And uh, don't forget that a lot of people are viewing today's result not just as a condemnation of the HST, but as a condemnation of the government that brought in the HST. So, as we said in the story, definitely an uphill battle for Christy Clark ahead. Tony? Thank you, Stephen.